While the Naperville North tennis courts are under construction, the Huskies will play their home matches at Nike Park this spring. Equal Valley visits Naperville North to begin the DVC slate following a week of rainouts. Adi Bonsall and Rudy Shen from Nikwa Valley are ready to get the conference season going against Quoli Samoza and Sujit Velanki from Naperville North in two doubles. Early in the opening set, the Huskies are able to keep their opponents on their heels with some powerful returns to secure the point. Later in the first set, Rudy Shen serves and forces the error into the net. Set one heads to a tiebreaker. Naperville North is looking to take advantage in the tiebreaker, and this wicked serve from Samoza does the trick as it hooks out of reach but still lands in bounds before nearly taking out the camera. However, the Niqua duo is able to seize control from there. Bonsell with a nice serve before Shen steps up for the smash. The Wildcats win 7 6 in set one and 6 3 in set two. Niqua looks for another win at one doubles with Johnny Moe and Ricky Kim taking on Brandon Dumbbell and Noah Yoon from Naperville North. Both teams completely revamping their top doubles pairing after losing state qualifying teams to graduation. The Wildcats lead in the opening set as Noah Yoon has the serve in the far court. He goes through multiple volleys with his opponents, working to keep the point alive. Dumbbell steps in at the end and drives home the point for the Huskies. Ricky Kim serves for Niqua later in the set. Dumbbell with a backhand near the back line that floats over the net where Johnny Moe leaps in for the smash. Mo is a multiple-time state singles qualifier, playing doubles to start his senior year. Mo seems to be adjusting quickly to doubles play. Following a serve and return from Dumbbell, he leaps and splits the court with a backhand to help secure a two-set victory, 6-3, 6-3. Nequa Valley sweeps all four doubles matchups. Moving on to the singles matches where Arush Bardwaj from Naperville North returns for the top spot to the Huskies against Andy Yu from Nequa Valley. In the first set, Andy Yu starts things off with a serve. Bardwaj approaches the net with an aggressive forehand return, and Yu hooks his return wide of the mark. Bardwaj serves in the near court, which sets off a lengthy volley. Yu navigates well to a return that deflects off the net as both players look for an opening. After an extended back and forth, Yu powers a backhand that leads to a ball into the net from Bardwaj. Andy Yu takes the win in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2. In two singles, Evan Yang steps in for Niqua Valley against freshman Yansen Liu from Naperville North. The young Husky was well prepared for the solar eclipse earlier in the day. Yang with a serve on the far court, Liu with a strong return that puts Yang on the defensive. Liu then unleashes a laser right on the line for the point. The first set goes to the Husky, 6-3. Liu serving while playing in the far court, and this time Yang gets a chance to get aggressive with his returns. A big forehand chases Liu to the right as he gets it back, but he cannot catch up to the backhand as Yang takes the point. Some good power on display from these young varsity team members. Lou manages to scoop out a long return near the back line and keep it in play. He then finishes off the point and takes the win in straight sets, 6-3-6-3. More freshmen getting their first taste of varsity action where Max Buxbaum from Naperville North faces Sharya Kandari from Nequa Valley. The Wildcat serving first as Buxbaum sends it back. Kandari with a great shot for the point as the ball evades his opponent. Kandari serving once again as the players flip courts. A volley goes back and forth as Kandari approaches the net to return a low shot from Buxbaum and tries to lob it over his head. Buxbaum tracks it and perfectly places a lob of his own near the back line. The Husky takes the win in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. Nequa Valley does earn the team victory over Naperville North by the score of 5-2. I feel like our mindset is always like those first big points that we get. And like we're really trying to like push for big serves, big volleys, like really get our, our momentum rolling. And I feel like we did that great in our tie break. We want to yeah. yeah. set the tone for the match. And um, for I think personally the first serve is the most important thing. The first serve of the tie break at 0-0. Zero, zero. So we bounce the ball a few times, we talk, we make sure we have a solid game plan and we execute. 
I think I overwhelmed him with my shots. Um, I was hitting particularly well today, and my shots were kind of fast. And I think we played a lot of long points, but uh, I think I overall played like, a better game overall today. So yeah, I think it was good. Uh, this is our first year playing together, and uh, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how it's going. We've got a couple uh, non-DVC matches, and like I love our playstyle, big aggressive players, and it seems to work out well. So. Yeah, I think we're friends off the court too, so that we also have that you know, synergy already, we can deal with each other. When, when one of us is down, we can bring each other up, we can carry each other, and yeah, it's a really good play style. I'm actually a freshman, so I, I haven't played on these, like, the school's course for long, but there, I know that the courts weren't that good, like, it's kind of, like, slippery, and it's, like, a lot of cracks and stuff. So, I think it's actually better that we're playing at Nike Park, so, yeah, not too much disappointment there.